Okay, Chikami everybody. This is Miyaku. I'm starting up Animal Crossing New Horizons finally. My plea my plea to Nintendo to release it early didn't work. It didn't fall on deaf ears though, because like 250 people watched it, which I was very surprised about. <laughs> Most of the comments were people being like, "You're not an expert." I never claimed to be. I just had a sarcastic idea. Oh, look at these cute little raccoons! Oh, we're so excited to have you here. Have you here? <laughs> it's like Jim Gaffigan. <laughs> he echoes himself. My little boys love the way these guys talk. They're super excited to play. So I'm gonna have... Um, maybe three other people on my island. Which will be exciting. I've never... I haven't played Animal Crossing since the first one on the GameCube, really in depth anyways. So this is going to be fun. Let us be the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. They're happy. They're so happy. There's so much to look forward to. Hold on, guys. Can I get one of those shirts? <laughs> I need one. But first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. Nook Incorporated. And I'm Tommy. Tommy doesn't echo himself. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So shall we... Let's get started, shall we? Oh, look, it's even in Spanish here. It's en español. Paquete escapada a islas desiertas. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. My Spanish is muy buen, right? Can we have your name and birthday? Birthday! My name! Oh, no! Um, I normally just go by Mieku on here, but it, I thought it would be really funny to become Conan O'Brien from The Late Show. <laughs> or should I, should I be Jimmy Fallon from The Tonight Show? Is he on The Tonight Show? Maybe I'll be Jimmy Fallon. Oh, he's talking, listen. <laughs> I love the sounds they make. The sounds are just enough on their own. Jimmy? <gasps> I can't be Jimmy Fallon, I can just be Jimmy. Or I could be Conan. From The Late Show. Jimmy from The Tonight Show. Mm, this is a tough decision, because I don't think I can change this later. I wish I had a bunch of people telling me. Would it be funnier for me to play as Jimmy from The Tonight Show? I don't know how long my island can name can be though. Hmm. Jimmy the Tonight Show. Or should I just be Mieku from New Albania? Should I name my island Albania? New Albania? Okay, um... Ooh, I should have thought of this beforehand. I'm wasting all my time thinking of my name. Okay, let's let's do it. I'm just gonna do it. I'm okay with Jimmy. I love Jimmy Fallon. Conan Conan would lend himself really well to becoming becoming a little villager in this because of his hair. His hair is amazing. Here we go. That is my birthday. Oh, look at him typing with his little stubs, his little raccoon stubs. Jimmy, Jimmy. Oh yes, here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Jimmy. I'm so relaxed already. Just the music. <laughs> okay. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want. We'll be ready when you are. You are. Um, I gotta Google a picture of Jimmy Fallon real quick here. To try to match this. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy Fallon. If you're watching this, Jimmy Fallon, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to you. Jimmy Fallon's pretty white. Maybe he's medium, actually. Hold on. Okay, I need another picture of Jimmy Fallon. I get. I need to get two samples of his of his skin tone. <laughs> he's. I'm guessing he's Fitzpatrick skin type three. 
No, maybe more like two. He probably burns a little bit and then tans. Skin type 1 is always burns, never tans. Skin type 3 is rarely burns, always tans easily. Wait, I don't want a video, just an image. <laughs> is this creepy that I'm looking at Jimmy Fallon instead of making my island? He looks a little bit more in the middle here than most of these. I'll go with this one. Oh wait, hairstyle. He has he has like a cool a cool little wave going over his head. Can I do the wave thing? No, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Definitely not. What is this noodle hair? No, no, that's too long. He's a pretty trim guy. It's, he doesn't hang down in the front like that. Hmm. I might have to go with... I hope they make some new hairstyles, man. I can't make a Jimmy Fallon on here, can I? I think he's probably the most most like that. We'll put a hat on him. We'll put a hat on. And it's a uh, dark brown? Dark black? Is it black or brown? I think it's more black. Yeah, it looks more black. I don't think brown looks right on Jimmy. Anyways, black is my hair color, so. And his eye color. Oh, I should just Google. What is Jimmy Fallon's hair color? <laughs> this is getting creepier. Jimmy Fallon's eye color. Here we go. It is. Google says. Brown. Hair color brown? I don't know if I buy that. It looks black on here. Are you sure it's brown? My wifey says it's brown, too. And, uh, I don't know. He's got more of a triangle nose. He doesn't do the tooth thing. He's got this little, yeah, probably like a half smile here. Brown. Um. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Look at all these eyes. We need, high, we need happy eyes. Jimmy Fallon has a happy face. That's what I like about him. Now, this is like tired Jimmy. Wait. Tired Jimmy? Bruised Jimmy? Oh, sad. Uh, weekend Jimmy? <laughs> okay. Square. Ooh, the square's kind of cool, actually. Almond eyes. I think his hair is black. Are you sure about... Do you think it's brown? Look at all these pictures. It's all black. It's like mine. It's like when it gets styled, it goes black. And when it's normal, it's kind of dark, dark, dark brown. Jimmy, Jimmy on caffeine. Surprise, Jimmy. Pretty Jimmy. Sparkly. Okay, I think, I think, not square. His, he's got little almond eyes like this one, but the, the lack of whites really creeps me out there. I might have to do this one. Sarcastic Jimmy. There we go. That's probably the best one. I think I'll do that one. And brown. Yep, there we go. His hair is all wrong. So is that. <laughs> this is wrong too. I'm not doing very good at making my Jimmy. I think that's the best I'm going to get for the eyes. Because he's got eyebrows. Eyebrows are definitely a part of Jimmy Fallon's face. And I need him, I need him on there. But I can't change him to match his hair. How come I can't change his eyebrow color? This is a serious flaw in my Jimmy Fallon design. What is this? Oh, blushing Jimmy? No. No, I don't think so. That's it. That's it? That's all I can do? Okay, here we go. That is... it's okay. You're all set. All set! I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. Now let's start talking about your new home. So exciting! So exciting! We're quite, 
quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is we have islands in both northern and southern hemisphere. Oh cool, that's awesome. My Aussie friends can be finally be included. They're not forced to play in my northern hemisphere dominant world. Current home. So tell me, Jimmy, where do you live now? Live now. I live in North America. Pretty sure that's where Jimmy Fallon lives anyways. Jimmy and Timmy. Hey, we're like best friends. Timmy. Our names rhyme. Does that sound okay to you so far? So far. Why does he echo himself like that? Yeah, okay, it's good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. All of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. <laughs> Does that mean you haven't done anything for it? I'm going to go to this island, and there's nothing there. Choose a layout that looks appealing. Look at how much flowers they're, they're feeling so much flowers. I wonder what emotion they're conveying there. They're beaming? Oh, tough choices here. Look, this one's got a little island in the middle. That's cool. This one has three springs and a heart-shaped, a little heart-shaped lake. This one has a tall mountain in the corner, three tall mountains. I kind of like this one. I like the I like this island right in the middle. Yeah. And I've got a little rock at the bottom. This one looks good, I think. My dock is way over on the left side. Okay. Yeah, sure. That is my island. Wonderful choice. Choice! I can't wait to show it off to you. But he, he talks like that little kid from the middle. Brick. He repeats himself. <laughs> he echoes his very last sentence. Uh, but before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could only bring one thing, what would it be? What would it be? Hot Pockets, because what would Jimmy bring? Probably a game, right? He always is playing crazy games. That's what I like about Jimmy. Something to kill time, some food, a lamp, a sleeping bag. Hmm, time to channel my inner Jimmy here. Something to kill time, probably. How interesting. That was just a hypothetical question. Nook Incorporated will fully cover all of your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight is a ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. I think I'm going to try and do this every single day because <laughs> my health insurance legitimately gave playing video games every day after work as an option in this little plan. They want you to do things to improve your health, and one is to lower your anxiety levels. And one of their options for doing that was playing video games. <laughs> I don't know if I fully agree with that, but who am I to argue with the health insurance company, right? They said I gotta do it, so I'm gonna do it. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this chartered flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. And with all the crazy stuff going on in the world right now, everybody needs a little lowered anxiety. Coronavirus, uh, we had an earthquake in Utah on top of it, so we're supposed to stay in our houses, and then we have an earthquake that shakes our houses, <laughs> so it's not fun to stay inside them either. On the bright side, I did find some toilet paper. I was walking down the aisles in Target, and I looked back, and I did a double take, and the lady in the aisle was like, yep, we got some toilet paper. She knew exactly what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that! She's out tanning! Don't tan! Tanning's bad! Ooh, that's a creepy bug. I'm gonna have to give everyone umbrellas because I'm a dermatologist, and I gotta teach them to stay out of the sun. Look, she's got a wide-brimmed hat. Good for her. I can feel my anxiety melting away. Mission accomplished, Animal Crossing. Are these my villagers? Are these the people that live with me? Oh. Oh no. This is just a slideshow. Hey, there was an anteater. I hope I get an anteater. That was cool. That guy was so proud of his beetle.
I should be watching the Jimmy Fallon show. I can't even see that. Oh, there it goes. Nook Inc. It was all blood. It was, it was whited out there. Look at this cute little airplane. Is that what I'm flying on? I'm on this little tiny airplane. I hope I don't regret naming my, my person Jimmy instead of Mieku after myself. I should have been Mieku from the Department of Dermatology. But I don't know how long the word is for the island, so how many characters I can use. I guess I could always restart it. If you think I should restart it and not be Jimmy and I should be Mieku from the Dermatology Department, then let me know. We're here! Now I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the plaza? Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move L to follow us. <gasps> I have an alligator in my town! Look at this guy! There's an alligator here. And he's like a camel alligator. He's cool. His name is Sly. That's a sweet name, Sly. You're my new best friend. Let's hustle. Is that what he says? He always says, let's hustle. Oh, he's so cool. Talk later, jog now. Let's go. Okay, but we got to get a move on. Come on. Who's that other guy? It was like a little bear. Hold on, I got to pick up this stick. How do I pick up sticks? I can't. I can shake a tree, though. <laughs> How did I do that? Eh? <gasps> Apples. Oh no, I can't I want to pick up that apple. I have this little bear in this sweet, sweet karate jacket. Tammy. Ooh. My new love interest. Better watch out, Carissa. I have a cute little bear living on my island. Her name is Tammy. Tammy. She has a cool jacket. Get out. A short skirt and a long jacket. I want a girl with the right allocations. She's sharp and thorough. No, wait, she, I don't remember the song. She's definitely from the song, though. I wonder what the guides want to tell us. I wonder if it's important. Probably is. It's probably that Jimmy Fallon is about to woo you. You're his new girlfriend, for sure, Tammy. You, yeah, that's right, Sly. You stay on that side. Tammy's with Jimmy. We can be friends as long as you keep your distance, pal. And how about Sly? And there's Jimmy, of course. Yeah, Jimmy. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Nook. Our three adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? I wonder what accent Tom Nook talks with. I wonder what his, what his preferred accent is. Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Incorporated. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island. So I just noticed I can hear either the waves or the wind. And it's nice. It's really nice. The sound design in this game is already top-notch. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Incorporated staff will always be here to support you and ensure your comfort and safety. But first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... You're the connections, Tom. You own everything. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's just get started with a simple tent. Collect your tent from Timmy or Tommy and choose a spot to place it. Oh, do they give me a different one? Like, does Timmy or Tommy give me a different one? You have a scarf, but you have a flag and a scarf. You must be more successful because you're holding a flag. Here you go, Jimmy. Your very own tent. Is it yellow? Is it a yellow tent? Press X to access it, then place your tent. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you want a little breathing room, so take your time finding a space that works for you. I suppose I should probably set you up with a map, too. Yeah, I don't want to get lost on my first day. Once you put up your tent, please find your way back here. Use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. <sighs> oh, I'm so happy. I can run really fast. 
I want to pick up this stick. I've never wanted to pick up a stick more in my life. I should have listened how to use the map. Oh, there we go. Wait a minute, what am I doing here? I can say things. Okay. <laughs> Jimmy! Where's that river? Oh, I mean, wait a minute. There was an island, right? I want to put my house on the island. A waterfall with butterflies everywhere. And fish. I get apples. Oh, cool. I like apples. You know, of all my... All, apples are a good fruit. I like apples. They're inoffensive. I wonder if these are jazz apples. Jazz apples are my favorite in real life. They're the best. I don't think I can cross over here, can I? I can't go to my island. I guess I'll have to move that later. I should... Um, yeah, I'm definitely trapped over here, aren't I? I didn't know that I would be trapped, I guess. I should have... looked at the other maps a little bit closer. How do I pull up that little map? I can't save. I'm not trying to save, I'm trying to do a map. Um, none of my buttons. Just that, okay. I guess the map just comes up when I stand really, really still. I will put my house... I want to see... Can I put it here, by this waterfall? Oh, it's big. I think it's going to be too big to go right there. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, Jimmy... Jimmy's gonna have to move later, because... This is not prime real estate. Jimmy Fallon only lives in the primest real estate. Maybe right here? This is nice, in this little grove. Yeah, let's put it here. Oh, wait, let's imagine it. Oh, I'm imagining! Yeah, that's pretty good. That's good. I feel like I'll be able to move it later. Oh, I'm so excited. I set up my tent, that's a big first step. And it is yellow. Look at my beautiful yellow tent, it's beautiful. Tom Nook still needs to tell me some things, so don't go in my tent yet, okay. Run! I wonder if everybody gets the same shirt that I got. It's okay, I, I can't really imagine Jimmy really wearing this shirt. He, he's more of a suit guy, I gotta get a suit. You found a suitable spot for your tent? I sure did. You're the first one back, so I suppose the others must still be searching for the right location. You know, since you've done some scouting, the others might appreciate your assistance. I know just the place. Tammy. Right about here. And Sly can go over on the... He can go down by the... <laughs> he can go down here in the industrial district by the airport. You know, I do like you, Sly. He's cool. Yo, I'm Sly. You're Jimmy, right? Nice to meet you. Hoorah! Oh, are you in the military, sir? I'm sorry. My my kindest regards. We will be friends. I like military people. Thanks for your service, Sly. You already set up your tent, eh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'll be doing some serious cardio, so it's got to have lots of fresh air. I think this spot will do the trick, but I don't know. What do you think? If you like it, I think that it's good. It looks good to me. I do think so. We do a little visualization, visualization exercise. If I put my tent here... Yeah, that's pretty cool. Hey, that is a cool tent. Mine's pointy, yours is round. That was a tough decision. You totally saved my glutes. <laughs> Sly, this is a children's game. I wonder how that Tammy is... Oh. No, Sly. <laughs> okay, we started off good. She might be having as much trouble as I was, so I, maybe you should go see if she needs some help. Okay, I'll go see if she needs some help, Sly. You... Oh, there she is. Look at her sweet eyelashes. She does she does really, really fine work with her eyeliner pencil and her eyeshadow. <laughs> Come look at Tammy. Come here. 
Come look at this cute little bear. You're, wait, I got it. Don't tell me. You're Jimmy, right? See? Told you I had it. Sly was already thinking about her. I'm feeling territorial. <laughs> Don't you think she's a cute little bear? I'm Tammy. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, you heard? It's gonna be awkward when my wife moves into town and meets Tammy. You already found a good spot, huh? I was trying to feel just feel for the best spot, but I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I could just sit here thinking it over forever, so I grabbed a stick and threw it, and here's where it landed. You know what, Tammy? I have just a place for you. There's only so far I could throw the stick, but I'm liking this. I will find you a spot. I think she's hinting at something, right? She was doing some... She was eyeing me. She was making eyes at me for sure. You're going to pick out the perfect spot for me? You bet. You do that for someone you just met, you know, you're all right, Jimmy. Look at this. She's totally, she's way into Jimmy. Look at that face. In that case, here you go. It's your show now, you heard? Okay, all right. Perfect spot for that tent. I'm going to go wait at the plaza in the meantime. What is on the back of her jacket anyways? I'm not really following you. I'm just walking in the same direction at the same time. See? You see? Hold on, hold on. You're going a little fast. Oh, I didn't mean to touch your hand there, Tammy. It just happened. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'll find your house. We had a moment. It was a good moment. Wait a minute, that's Sly. Run away. Oh, Sly's not that far. Shoot. I didn't realize he was that close to me. Okay, Tammy. Let's be neighbors. Oh, 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 a little bit, a little bit further. Right there. Yes. Let's imagine it. I think we'll have to remove a tree or two. This is perfect, I think. It looks like our tents are lined up. How come they get round tents and I have a pointy tent? Theirs look more high quality than mine. Mine have little stakes and ropes. Tammy's got a place for her tent now. It just happens to be next to Jimmy's. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? You really get a feel for how it suits you. And with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business, like throwing an island warming party. All right. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Since we'll all be living here together, this will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Tammy, Tommy, and Sly can set up things here in the plaza. Meanwhile, Jimmy and I will work on gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. All right, everyone. Let's get to it. Jimmy, would you come to see me for a moment? Come see me for a moment. Okay, what is it, Tom? Tammy and I were gonna go look for some firewood. Hey, way to go, Sly. You sweep that. Look, look at him sweeping. And <laughs> where, where are you going? Don't sweep the grass. I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, press Y to pick it up. I'll investigate the apple-like items growing on the trees. <laughs> I suspect they're real apples. Oh, you didn't know this before? What if they're poisonous, Tom? You told me everything was going to be fine, Tom. I'd appreciate it if you'd hold on to any weeds you pull up while you're gathering branches. We want to buy them from you. What are you going to do with weeds, pal? Why does he want to buy weeds? I'm kind of concerned by that. Apple? Apple? Question mark? <laughs> He's not sure. He's not sure if they're apples. What am I picking? Weeds? I am picking weeds, aren't I? Okay. Well, I put them in a nice little bag as I pick them. I really care for these weeds. Well, he said that I could sell these weeds to him. I don't think they're hallucinogenic weeds, Tommy. You don't really want these weeds. Tree branch, all right. I needed, I think he said 10, right? 10 tree branches. 
Maybe I can make more tree branches fall. Just leaves? Okay. The music is so soothing. So the first Animal Crossing that I played was the, it was the GameCube one. And it was funny because my brother and I, we had no idea what it was. We just rented it from, I think it was Blockbuster. It might have been the other, the other rental place in town called Video Movie Land. <laughs> but we kind of got hooked on it and it was so funny because we were just young. And here's this game about getting a house and getting a mortgage and paying off a mortgage. And for some reason, it seemed like the most novel idea. Like, let's play this game and pay off a mortgage. And then we grew up and we realized it was just real life. <laughs> and now I'm still playing it 20 years later. I wonder if it'll be as fun paying off the mortgage now as it, as it was then. Because now I have a real mortgage and it's really not that much fun. Oh, good, good. Looks like you managed to collect up the tree branches. Did I get enough? You found even more than I asked. I am an overachiever. I only need the ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. I'll take what we need off your hands now. He's gonna think I'm a gunner. That's what they call people in medical school who try to do too much work to become impressive. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for our campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh, ho. Oh, foreshadowing. He's gonna make me do all the work, isn't he? Speaking of surviving... On a desolate island, our next task is to round up something to snack on. I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like apples, they smell like apples, and they taste like apples. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine apples. Will you collect six? What's this? You've already collected enough apples for everyone, haven't you? <laughs> I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you once again. I'll go ahead and take those off your hands and get started with the preparations. Look at that. I am a 100% Eagle Scout. I was prepared with food. Oh, they look nice at nighttime. The lighting is really good. Tabby looks really fuzzy. Sly looks a little bit fuzzy too, and I didn't notice that he was actually red and brown. He's. I hope he never leaves. Okay, Sly. We're good friends. I won't let Tammy come between us. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Oh, we're clapping. I'm so happy for that fire. At last, allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. This makes me want to go camping for real. <laughs> I need to go camping now. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years, but this may be the most exciting. Oh, he's... Look at him, he's determined. And he has a cool sweater, I just noticed that now. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. Tammy's wearing a jacket, and Sly is wearing a t-shirt. It seems backwards. The reptile's likely to get cold at night, and the bear would probably be fine. Perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Oh ho! Now we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned, but that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. We can do it. I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... I suppose we can't call this a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? Here's my moment! Do I have enough characters? Or did my whole plan just fall apart? As the first residents of this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? Take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. The... Come on, come on, give me enough characters. I better double check. His show is called The Tonight Show, right? It's not The Late Show. I can never keep the names of these shows straight. The Tonight Show. Yeah, yeah, it's The Tonight Show. Is Conan's show The Late Show? Or is his The Late Late Show? I don't watch any of them because they're on late and I go to bed early. No! I can't do it. It's too long. Oh, man. 
I might have to restart my island. Tonight. Show. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, tonight's show. <laughs> there we go. I guess that's it. It's a... Uh, this is def it's authentic guys. This is authentic. It's the tonight show, don't you know? <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> all right, is everyone ready? Let's try saving our ideas all at the same time. Ready? Go. Tonight show. Swoleville. Ooh. Swoleville. You present you drive a hard bargain there, Sly. Each one is a potential gem. Now for the voting. You can each clap for the one that you think is best. Oh no. Jimmy seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. So Jimmy suggested... Tonight Show. Everyone clapped? Oh. I don't get to vote for Swoleville? I was really thinking about Swoleville. <laughs> Tammy suggested... Roxville or something? She must like rock and roll. We could just go with Tonight Show. Okay, it's the Tonight Show. It rocks, absolutely. Abs. I see what you did there. He's a muscle man, isn't he? He's all about muscles and working out and getting swole. This island will be known as Tonight Show. Well, Jimmy, since you've proven yourself, yourself by naming Tonight Show, I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we need to make on this island. I hereby name you the resident representative of Tonight Show. <laughs> <laughs> They're so happy for me. Could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? You can count on me. You gotta buy a new one. From the store. Hmm, so we've... I guess you don't get one. Use your, your metal shield. Hmm, so... We've settled on a name for our island, and we've selected our resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. Everyone having a beverage in ha everyone have a beverage in hand. It's fresh juice made from apples. Our new resident representative harvested on this very island. Then, without further ado, a toast to tonight's show and the happiness of its residents. <laughs> what are we drinking? Is that apple juice that you just made, Tom, from the question apples, apple questions? <sighs> He's playing the tambourine. I feel like I'm on vacation, but we actually get to live here. Hoorah. I like you, Sly. He actually moves with the beat. Can I dance with that? Hey, Tammy. Got a seat on this log for me? Oh, you do. Here we go. This is perfect. I'm just going to sit here for a while. Okay. Party around a campfire on a deserted island on this rocks, you heard? We'll let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. There's something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. Uh, Jimmy, I'm, I wish I could move the camera like on Breath of the Wild. I really want to be able to move the camera around as I talk to people. That's a minor thing, but it felt really special in that game. Which, by the way, is, I still think, the best game of all time. We'll see if this one can surpass it, but I'm doubtful. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. I'm not tired yet. Yes, yes, I should have known you would have plenty of energy. Well, enjoy the moment. Just stop by and see me for a quick chat before you turn in. I have something to give you. We'll let this campfire burn. Feel free to rest in your tent if you feel tired. some music oh here we go I'm dancing now I can dance look at Jimmy go look at me go <laughs> I can move side to side
How do you like my dance moves, guys? I'm just relaxing by the fire with my friends, dancing. Can I dance on the fire? I can't. Can I dance on this log? Oh, I can. There we go. <laughs> okay, Tammy, let's dance. I'll dance right here. We all just met, but chilling by the fire like this makes it feel like we've been best buds for ages. It sure does. Can I grab the log and show off my moves for you? There we go. Here we go. All right, Tammy, check out these moves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this isn't creepy at all. <laughs> I'm definitely winning her over slowly. You can see it. She's watching me. It doesn't look like it, but she's definitely enjoying it. How long should I dance? You think it's long enough? That's probably long enough. Okay, what do you got for me, Tom? Yes, I'm having a good time. I know this is all a bit much, so if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll just keep the fire burning. What is he drinking anyways? It's like peanut butter with a mint leaf in it. Uh, okay, I guess I'll do that. It seems like this is what I have to do. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. So the little textures on him look so soft. He looks like felt. I wish I could touch it. Sounds good to me, but first, you'll probably want this. A leaf. Oh, thanks. It's your very own camping cot. Oh, I do need that. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. There are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm, just a few things that might be useful. To open packages and use the things inside, press A. And when you're ready, you can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up just as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes, that's all for me now. Sweet dreams, Jimmy. So, this is actually a really cool intro for the game. Moving in and having this little fire right at the end of the daytime. I'm really, I'm really impressed by this. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Shovel Knight, which was honestly one of my most favorite games I ever played. And the way they did the fire scenes at the end of each level I thought was so cool. So let's go, let's go run to my tent. I got a cop to put down, I'm so excited. Oh, can I check out Tammy's house? No? Tammy. Does this say Jimmy? It's a mailbox! There's nothing in my mailbox. Hey guys, send me some mail. I need some mail in here. I will send you mail too. I'll send you apples in the mailbox. Look how I ducked down. I really want to go camping. I can socially isolate while I camp, right? What's that? My own radio? A pink radio. This looks just like one my sister had. Wait, oh, that's... I'm not dancing, I'm pushing. That's a cool dance move, Jimmy. Look at that. He moves it with his mind. Oh, it is a real working radio. Oh my goodness. What is it? What is it telling me? Welcome Horizons is currently playing. I'll leave it on. I like having some move-in music. That's nice. <gasps> A lantern. Oh. This game is beautiful. <laughs> hey, how come I can move my camera here? I can move it here. Jimmy is so happy in his new home. I wish I could move it while I'm outside. I wonder why I can't. Okay, well let's um, let's put this. The lantern I wish I could hang. Can I hang it? Can I put it on the wall? Oh, sorry, camera, come on. The lantern. Place it. Oh, I can't put it on the wall. I wish I could put it on the wall. Let's put it over here. There we go. I got the radio and I'll put the cot over here, I guess. Place it. Oh, that's rather plain. It'll do though. Oh wait, that's the wrong button. So there's one thing I've learned from camping in real life. It's that you never put your sleeping bag against the tent. 
Right, right, Carissa? Because it gets wet. The tent sweats at nighttime and it'll get you wet. Hey, the music just changed. What is this music? Okay, I got it. I got it so I can walk around it, or almost. It's not touching the wall, right? So I won't get wet while I sleep. Okay, camping pro. Pro tips right there. What is playing? This is a weird song. KK Kazba. Oh, I'll leave it on. Okay, we'll go to bed to the sweet tunes of KK Kazba. Kazba, rocking the Kazba. Oh, shoot. Place it. Uh, it's taken me a little bit to get used to these controls here. Sorry guys, I'm total new at this. Like I said, I haven't really played since the the GameCube one. Oh, hold on, I've got, um, I got some apples. Let's put some apples in my house. Drop it. I got a snack if I need to go to bed. Okay, and um, what else can I put in here? A weed? There's a weed in, a little weed in a cute bag. <laughs> a clump of weeds, okay. And a tree branch. Grab one, what is that? Oh, I don't wanna do that. That's what grab one means, I guess. Okay, let's see. Now, how do I just lay on it? All right. Rest my head for a little while. I will rest. I'm getting sleepy. Yeah, I just went to bed in the game, so I will go to bed in real life. No, I gotta get ready for bed. But this is a good stopping place right here. I think, I think, I don't think it's gonna get me into another long tutorial. <gasps> it's KK. What's he doing here? Looks like you've decided to make your own way in the world. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the way right. That's all the way right, Daddy-O. You don't have to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world was made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take it from a cat who's been on the road. Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world in Squaresville without some pals. Yeah, he says that right now, but we're all supposed to be alone. I feel bad for people that don't have families to live with right now, because that would get super lonely. Right? So if you're feeling lonely from coronavirus, join the Animal Crossing crew. You can play with me, comment, watch, talk to me, answer, ask questions. I can answer derm questions if you have questions about dermatology. You know, everyone wants to know about big pores. If big pores, there's like 5 million views for how to get rid of big pores on YouTube. <laughs> One of my pet peeve questions in clinic, actually, I get all these people coming in. How do I get rid of these big pores? Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, but listen up. That rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this island life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, an island paradise with your best pal sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool, when you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig the island life and I'll catch you later. Yeah, so if you were worried that starting this game at nighttime wouldn't let you start during a sunny... You wouldn't get to the island when it's sunny? Fear not, because... It was sunny. Jimmy! Are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. But I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. Oh, look at me hop out of bed. I Love You is currently playing. Well, that's perfect. Can I save it right now? I can't save right now. I guess that wasn't a good place to stop. Hopefully soon. Because I do want to go to bed. My kids are going to be awake really early. <gasps> I have mail! Ah, there you are. I hope you had a pleasant nap. Oh, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day. Hardly, it's dark outside. I slept that long? Wow, I needed that. I did. Well, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip and a major life event. Speaking of which, 
two to three months after major life events, your hair may all fall out. That, well, not all of it, a lot of it. That's called telogen effluvium. I see that pretty regularly in my clinic too. Like after pregnancy or like childbirth or a new medicine or a big illness, there's going to be a lot of telogen effluvium about two to three months after this COVID-19, after you recover from your COVID, part of your hair might fall out. Just to be warned. I have a few more things that you might find useful as you, don't worry, it's not permanent. Your hair grows back, by the way. I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in a little paradise. You'll need one of these, yes? Ah, a phone? It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Look how, he's like Batman. Look at him posing. He does this Batman pose whenever he's feeling awesome. I had these made especially for island residents. Ah, I want to make sure it's working right, so could you try turning it on for me? Okay. And let me just put it in this little ball of my hand. Welcome. Look how cute this phone is. <laughs> it has little apps on it and everything. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. That's subtle. That's subtle, Tom. Say, Jimmy, have you ever used a smartphone before? No. Jimmy's only on Twitter like every day. I have one of my own. Very good. Then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, I think you'll find it much more useful than the phone you already have. I have one more thing for you. A, a deed to my tent? Oh, it's my bill. Oh, no. Tom Nook is notorious for bills. I have zero dollars. What am I going to do? So this includes everything. What? Yeah, that's kind of the point of this game. This little raccoon, he, he puts you in horrendous debt. And really, the only point of the game is to pay off your debt. And, and as soon as you pay it off, he's like, oh, you did it. You must be unhappy with your situation. Let me give you a bigger debt. And you always get a bigger and bigger debt. <laughs> so this, and, and everyone loves it. It's part of the charm. So this includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and, of course, your Nook phone. Hmm? Bringing your grand total to the modest sum of 49,000 bells. That's like the price of a top-of-the-line Honda Pilot. I should have bought a Honda Pilot. Bells? What are bells? Oh, ho, ho. Good one, Jimmy. Wait, you're being serious. <laughs> Joke's on you, Tom. I don't have any money, and now we're stuck on this island. <laughs> Finally. Finally, I win. I win, Tom. Yes, of course. I can't believe I didn't think of this. You should have collected prepayment, pal. Well, bells are a currency. I guess I'm going to be your indentured servant for the rest of the game. Is that, is that what's going on now? Bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on tonight's show. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation for the getaway package. You can pay your bill, your fees with miles instead of the standard bills. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? I like the sound I make when I ask a question. Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on tonight's show. I dare say the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. Did you just make this up right now because I had no money? And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. That's right, he just did, didn't he? So the bottom line is, you'd need 49,000 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. Mm. So can I buy 1,000 miles for 10,000 bells? That seems to be about the breakdown, right? That's the spread? I'll just go ahead and register you so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes. But there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get back to a few other matters. But let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a member of tonight's show and a client of Nook Incorporated. You hear that, Jimmy? Nook, Tom Nook owns the tonight show now, apparently. Sorry about that. I didn't know that would happen. It was an accident. I just wanted to, to be on The Tonight Show. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! Now can I save it? 
Island time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right screen. You can also save your game and quit after pressing minus. Okay. Well, that's perfect. Because I do need to go to bed for real. So we will wrap things up for now. Thanks for joining me here on tonight's show in Animal Crossing as I as I achieve my goal of, of lowering my stress levels by playing video games every day after work as dictated by what's our health insurance blue cross yeah blue cross <laughs> this this video is brought to you by blue cross health insurance <laughs> blue cross blue shield of utah because they said that i have to do this so here we are we will save and end don't forget to join me pick up the game for yourself you need to relax a little bit and Tell me what you named your island. Tell me what you named your person. And I will see you tomorrow. So Miru Pafshim. I think. I want to see what happens here. Okay, everything about this game is so charming. Look at that little owl up on the bulletin board. He's even moving. Oh, settings. I'll explore that later. I can't get distracted. I already said Mirapov shame, so until next time, don't forget to slip, slap, and slop to prevent your skin cancers. Join me again tomorrow for more Tonight Show. More Animal Crossing on Tonight Show, <laughs> I guess.